Okay. Dream of mine was always to have red belly piranhas someday, and finally enough of my fish had passed away that I decided to go for it. So the only fish left from the original crew is this guy. And for all of you tropical fish enthusiasts, that's an African cichlid that was bright yellow when I bought him. And now, he decided to change his color to black. And I don't know how that happens, but I mean, I know fish can change their color, but that's pretty extreme. So I'm gonna feed them. I just wanted to show you that I have a couple tank mates here, two, I was gonna say two tiger Oscars, but again, if you guys know anything about Oscars, that is not a tiger Oscar, that's a red Oscar. It's a tiger Oscar, even though the fish store sold them to me as tiger Oscars, but that's okay, I like the variety. Uh, if you've never seen this aquarium before, I have another couple videos up of it. It's a self-made, uh, do-it-yourself styrofoam background. So I carved it, painted it with hydraulic cement. There's lots of little caves all over the place. That's my favorite one right in there. And the filter is in behind here. You can Those little holes are inlets to the filter. And then it's coming down out there. And there's some power heads right there. Both corners. And my piranhas. They get along great with the Tiger Oscars. Um, they are not, I want to show this video too because they're not, they're not dangerous like everybody says they are. I put my hand in all the time to clean the tank and they've never attacked. So I'm going to pause it, put some food in and let you see them eat. Okay, so I don't, I just feed them pellets and they're just kind of waking up here. It's kind of early so here comes one guy. Of course the tiger, or the Oscars are chomping away. If there's going to be anything left, who knows. And the piranhas are around. Hey, gee, that looks kind of good. And dunk. They seem to be happy with just pellets. I feed them flakes whenever we're done eating supper. If there's leftover chicken, toss it in. It's gone in just a couple seconds. But I have not fed them anything live. And, um, you know, I know a lot of people say, oh, well, then. You can't have piranhas if you don't feed them goldfish and stuff, but I disagree. Long, I've raised them on pellets and flakes and leftover chicken. That's what they like. And if you ask me, they look very healthy. They're, I got them in September and it's February now, so that's how much they've grown. Feed them, uh, when I first got them and they were just babies, I fed them uh, twice a day. Now I usually just feed them once a day. But uh, yeah, that's my piranhas. I think they make a great pet. It's not like they're pit bulls out attacking my mailman or anything like that. They're in my aquarium. And like I said, I put my hand in and gee, I can show you if I can set this up without a tripod. Just stick a... I'm going to put this underneath the camera. Perfect. Yeah, so even though I just fed them, Stick my hand in. I make lots of, oh no, look, I'm drowning. And uh, I mean, they're scared of me, right? I mean, tiger Oscars will sometimes come over and try and bite me. But I have a tiger Oscar downstairs that's about this big. And he has bitten my fingers and it hurt. And they bled. But these guys can't get their mouths around my fingers just yet. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.